Ah, <sighs> disappointing. All right. I suppose what I could do is leave one person and then have them pick up the loot and then pyramid over to me. You know, no, no, it's fine. The stuff wasn't magic. I don't want to need. I don't want to need to come back in this direction and then be unable to because I wanted to pick up my logs and non-magical crossbow. Hey, it's a good thing I had wooden logs because I apparently freaking needed them, Rockin. <laughs> Welcome, initiates. Never underestimate when you might need some rope or a wooden log. Vigilance. Observe, bear witness, or brave the biting shades of failure. Good talk. So because rot wears off when you get down to one hit point, and Eve has uh, 1,212 health, I'm tempted to just leave this game open all night so that they get down to one health and rot wears off. Because dang, that's irritating. But if it was unavoidable, I'm hoping at the end of this dungeon there will be a cure or something. I don't know. This, se this seems to be broken. It does seem to be broken. Lucky charm, getting that gold. We have four levers, Kronk. Pull the lever. Loot the room first. Oh, wow. Well, you saved me a night of staying logged in, I guess. All right, we got a big locked door. We got four statues. Save game, see what happens. I mustn't have used it correctly. Okay. Void Woe Bringer. Bringing that woe. Void Wanderer. Oh. Okay. Let's try Drain Willpower. Mind control. My pet, not yours. You said so yourself when you found the Tenebrium weapon? I said what myself? That it was good I had wooden logs? Or the get down to one hit point thing. Like, yeah, I, I remember saying it would take a long time to get to one health, which is why I was saying, oh, maybe I should just leave it on all night. But I was thinking, that my dog just got electrocuted by biting this guy? Is he made of electricity? I, I, I don't know, I don't know what I said. I thought it would, because it said, uh, until Vitality reaches one, I thought it would wear off when you got the one health. He wasn't even doing a melee, wow, that's awesome. I don't know why Nick got stunned because he threw a foot at the Woebringer. He's summoning more of those dudes. He is summoning more of those dudes. Oh god, they did banish someone on my wolf. Alright. She did 
work on that boy. Let's use our favorite spell, the Problem Maker. Oh, that was too fun. Cripple the pet, because it's gonna wear off soon. Would you care to hear a little tile? Wait, those count as I mean wait, of course they do. I was just thinking he was summoning reinforcements. I didn't think it was a summoned minion. If that's the case. Then Jahan should be able to just delete. Oh wait, he's knocked down. Oh man, Jahan should be able to just delete this thing. Stable combat. All right, helping hand, Jahan. Eclipse started a while back. Like a real life eclipse. I didn't, if, if you're talking about a real life eclipse, I did not know there was a real life eclipse today. <laughs> this is the first I've heard of it. Uh, banish summon. They emit electricity when they die. Like lunar or solar? It's pitch dark here right now. All right, did we get XP for that guy? Only this can revive me. Ah, uh, he dropped loot. What's that game? Super Wolf Blood Moon Total Eclipse Tonight. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. I'll take a look. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if Kemmer's trolling me. Stay tuned. I just see a full moon outside. I was gonna say, I look outside and all I see is a full moon in the sky. I don't know if uh, I'm supposed to be seeing something more special than that, but that's all I got. You can come back if you want. I had to go look at the moon. Okay, so we pulled the first lever, giant guy appeared, ruined our day. Uh, got XP and loot for it though. Did that open the door? No. What? I mustn't have used it correctly. Okay, these are a sequence, and then this is like execute the sequence. Oh god, there's three positions? So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. What is that, nine different combinations? Uh, combine logs and axe make branches, combine the branches together to make stamps, by the way. Did not know that. Alright, all to the right. I mustn't have used it correctly. 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 I 
mustn't have used it correctly. We mustn't have used it correctly. <sighs> this is gonna... Okay, this is the kind of puzzle I have no problem Googling the answer for, because this is just gonna take a lot of time while I get shocked over and over and over. What is the name of this this place? Hang on. Uh, Immaculate Trial. You think the clues to this puzzle are on the walls around the room? Okay, hold on. Let's cancel the Google search. Let me see if I overlooked something. Let's heal Mug because he just got zapped by that lever like five times. Is this it? Right, right, straight up? But then that could also be if you viewed the levers from this angle, it would be different. Okay. What was that? I think I heard a door unlatch. There we go. Got in here. They better cure my rod at the end of this. I'm not joining some cult just to get gonorrhea right as I walk in the door. Starstone! Oh, it went in her. That's cool, though. Wait, should... I was about to say, wait, shouldn't that have cured my rot? And then it did. Look at the Immaculates. We already have both of those volumes. Why is there no one here? Wouldn't they want to keep an eye on their Star Stone? Uh, Alright, hold on. I want to check these urns. By the way, I beat um, Arklash Legacy today. Uh, it was one of the games recommended to me by viewers. I got it for like a dollar when it was on sale. It was, it's another RPG. The game is incredibly smooth, very fluid, you know, stuff like that. But it is incredibly linear with almost no like itemization. You hit max level when you're still like only two thirds of the way through the game. So there's like no more progression after that point. Um, and it's deceptively difficult. I like some of the bosses. I felt like I was playing Dark Souls for the first time. Just the helplessness I felt. It's like you know, the first map. You have 16 skills right off the right out of the gate, and then you get to like the first boss. And if you don't counter his abilities perfectly, it just one. Literally, it's not a number. It says it kills you. This ability kills you if you don't counter it. That's what it, the text says. So it's very unforgiving and very difficult, but. By, by the la you know last couple of hours of it, I just wanted to be done with it. So I can't really recommend it to others, but if you've got the same taste as me. But I did finish that today, so that's no longer in the backlog. Then I started with uh, The Room, which is an interesting... Which is an interesting game. It's a puzzle game that was uh, also recommended. It's not a genre I've ever really tackled before. Rawr. Darn it. Gur baby gur to you too, Bear. I'm trying to click on the chicken. Proud and help the human. You are not sick. You are not poisoned. I beg of you, don't kill this humble chicken. <laughs> Let me leave and I... I'll lay you a fresh egg each and every morning. <sighs> no 
Those sunny side up taste as good as mine do. Uh We're not sick or gravely injured, so I suppose there's no reason to slaughter this animal. Doing so would be senseless cruelty indeed. Save the chicken. Holy hands, how I give you thanks, darling friend of fowl. Countless chicks would have been orphaned, but for you, bless you, oh, bless you. Southern bale chicken. Well done indeed. You have made it far. You have felt the goddess's bane, and now you shall feel her boon. Oh, the rot is her bane. Kill ye this fowl and pour its ruby essence onto the altar, so that her blessing will cure thee of thine ails. But this, this cannot be. What is this heathen witchery? The rot is gone from your flesh, yet you have yet to partake in the blessings of the blood. Proceed, just proceed with the sacrifice. Kill the chicken, collect its blood, and yield it to the star stone. In the meantime, I, I, I need... I'll be back. He's like, crap, my religion doesn't make sense now. I gotta go. Save game and chase after him. Chase him at the speed of looting. Oh, there's a portal here. Hey, waypoint. There, the goddess's foe remains in her holy chambers. See what the defiler has done. What? A star stone ruined. The goddess's boon destroyed. Spill the blood of the profaner. May the lost one beg the goddess's mercy. Heathens that undid the star stone, drain the blood from them, render them unto the goddess. Oh wow! Glad I summoned him before the fight started. With his opening move, he banished the uh, undead. Nether jester? Yo, he's using a stitched-up pig as bagpipes. Is he levitating? Oh no, he's got the tiny chicken legs. Okay. Let's mind control the Stormweaver. Lowers willpower. Ooh, I was close. I almost didn't have a line of sight. Got him. He is charmed by yours truly. to summon a fire elemental in the middle of him and then have it emit an explosion? Oh, let's do this juicy goodness. Hey you! Catch! <laughs> the game always lags when I do that. I love it. I can summon Nick right in the middle of that mess. Don't be like, oh, it's a day at the spa! Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's just getting her first turn, and look at her health. This is the guy mind controls. He's blasting the nether just here. What? Yo, if the guy I mind control summon a pet, summons a pet, do I get... Is that on my side too? I don't know whose side that's on right now. The answer is yes! My pet has a pet! My dreams have come true!
Immune to Cursed. I didn't even realize Eve was immune to Cursed. Good job, Eve. Uh, who's right? Jahan. Alright. Let's put Oath on Bear Daughter to bump her damage way up. And attempt to freeze this priest. Great success. Alright, so she's got oaths, so let's do Splinter Arrow, which will do up to 897 damage divided. Okay, about 100 to everybody. We have to ignite this poison. It's too good not to. I think we can do better. I think we can do better. Boom. Boom. Bum. Bum. Ooh. It didn't... Oh, the ice made a break in the poison. It didn't blow it up where Nick was standing. That worked out great. Yeah! Go Pets Pet Elemental. Hmm. Knock him down. Nice. Bully. As thrilling as the stage, though not half so bloody. Alright. We're gonna take little steps to try not to slip. Can't see target. Get get closer. Get your melee, come on. Really? Fine, hit this guy. Hey, Frats, how's it going, buddy? Oh, his attack clipped the column. Stupid computer. Loic uses Petrify on the Pets Pet Air Elemental. And then, this guy, look at him, he's got like, a, not even one pixel of health. This poor fella. All I did was charm him, and his friends just beat the ever-loving crap out of him. Hmm. Hmm. Let's move forward a touch. Blast that one. Oh, fire immunity. Oh, the Nether Jester. I didn't. Re Man, it would have benefited me to realize that earlier. Let's get rid of that fire immunity aura since we're all standing on fire. Okay, then he immediately burned and poisoned to death. Summon instead. Let's make the walking fireball. Alright, encourage on everyone. Right, and let's do what is going oh one of them's clipping the wall. Okay, move up a little bit. There we go. There we go. This guy hovers, so he doesn't care about the icy ground. I'll be honest, I forgot this guy existed. I knocked him down and I thought he was dead the we'll next turn, but he was just knocked down. He's such a hardcore board bard when he talks like that. Oath on himself, so he just bumped his own damage way up. Invulnerable? When do I learn that spell? Red River of the Divine. Cleanse me. Ooh, what? Hold on, I, I might want back in your religion if you can teach me that. Ah. <laughs> uh... 
Shoot that. Okay, that's dead. F critical for 567. Yeah, that'll finish things. He's invulnerable. Drop a rock on this guy. Sweet relief. Oh yeah, the guy I keep forgetting about. Oh nice, Brock to stun. So I was wondering if I could apply the burning debuff to him and then, you know, it just wouldn't tick for damage until his invulnerability went away, but it won't even let me apply the debuff. Alright, do we just have one enemy now? No, there's this guy over here. He's invulnerable, don't bother. So when he said that, he cured all the... He removed all the fire surface around him. So you can teleport in vulnerable enemies. That's good to know. Let's focus on this guy. He's the only target that's not vulnerable that's remaining. So, uh, the boss just banished the fire elementals, so I summoned the wolf as a replacement. Forty-five hundred. The uh, XP for these has gone up. Alright, at this point, it's just past turns and waste his time with summoned minions until his vulnerability goes off, which it just did. Summon another stupid jester. Ah. Uh, let's go around the fire. It'll cost more AP, but. Lightning bolt. Stun failed. We tried. Mm, we need to move a bit closer if we want to do that. Ricochet! Nice hit. Nasu! Still a lot of cooldown on that. Ah, oh, darn. Nice. That was a solid hit. Wait, he healed? Oh, of course, the fire immunity aura. Okay, so fire is actually helping him right now. So I need to. His the staff shot was fire based, and so it helped him instead of hurt him. Oh wow, that skeleton had a lot of AP saved up. We must have just finished the quest, because we got XP twice. I don't think Eve, my melee character, ever had to move that fight. She always had something to do while standing there. Oh, that stunned my skeleton. That's fine, though. That's okay. Can you finish this bear? I think you can. All right. Why? There we go, that was weird. Let's have you come over here and then clear everything from here to the portal. The power of air purifies the earth. Actually, let's have you do a heal too. Once that wears off, I think we'll all be at full health. So we got some boots, some potion, some bosses. 